guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig, it's six o'clock, which means it's time for a Magic Live. Now today, I'm here with Matt, and we're gonna do a, uh, a, a mind reading, a feat of mind reading. Um, this is actually Chris, Christopher Rollins' latest trick, and uh, you can find out more about it by watching the review show that me and Ryland did on it. Uh, I'm gonna perform this for you, Matt, okay? Now, I borrowed this off, um, off, off Kay. You know, because she's all about dictionaries. Out of everyone in the office, she's the only one that would be about dictionaries, and I knew I could get one off her. Makes the sense. reason I wanted a dictionary for this is because literally every word in the English language is going to be in here, right? You know that every word is going to be in here. That's the basic concept behind a dictionary, right? Yeah. Now, um, here's what I want you to do. In a minute, you're going to open up to somewhere in the middle of the book. It's completely up to you where you open up. It's completely your choice. But when you do open up, what I want you to do is, and let me use an example, I want you to go to the left-hand page and look at the very top word on the left-hand page. So in this case, it'd be cleverness. Not the one at the very top, like abject, but this one here, cl cleverness. Okay. Okay? And then we're going to give the book to Jack. And Jack, you're going to open up and you're going to look at a, uh, the left-hand page and you're going to look at the bottom word, the Ooh. bottom word of the left-hand page. So in this case, it would be Latin. You get the idea? Yep. So on this page, it'd be about for you, and it'd be person for uh, for, for Jack. Do you, get, do you get the idea? Yeah. Correct. So uh, let's try and do that. So if you open up the page, uh, don't let me see, obviously. Don't let them see. Um, but I want you to open up somewhere in the middle. OK? Just one page. Looks like an actual like dictionary. Of course it is. Are you looking at the top left? <laughs> yeah. Have you got it? <laughs> yeah. And uh, can you can you... Point out to where Jack needs to look at the bottom, bottom page, bottom page. Where are we into that? Yeah, have you got a word? Got it. Yep. You got it. Fantastic. Amazing stuff. So, nowhere can know what you're thinking of, right? Because obviously you just went through to any page and you looked at any word. Correct. Well, yeah. Okay. Both of you concentrate. Look at me. Concentrate. No, oh, I don't do. That. Okay. This is interesting. This is something that you hold in your hand, isn't it? This is something you hold in your hand. You could hold it. It's not like yeah. a house or anything like no, that. No, no, you can. You have the yeah. potential to hold this in. Yours, you can hold yours in your hand as well. It's not like a really big object. No. What? In fact, for some reason, I'm getting the impression of metal. It's coming more from Jack. Jack, are you thinking metal? Yeah. You're thinking very specifically silver, aren't you? Yeah. But even though you're thinking silver, there's other metals that are associated with the thing that you're thinking of, but you're thinking mainly silver. That's right. Is this because you own something like this that's silver? You could say that. Okay. I'm getting... This is weird. You, this isn't metal or anything like this, but this is something you enjoy, is that right? Is this something you, 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 you do or you've, you've, you, 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 you do something with this, right? It's something that you've done something with for a long time. You enjoy doing something with this, is that right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Ah, I know what it is. This is, this is like some sort of food thing, isn't it? <laughs> Is this a food thing that you can hold it? It's not food. Ah, right, it's it's fruit. <laughs> right, and that's why you enjoy it so much. Match is a vegetarian, right? So obviously this is a fruit. This is something that you enjoy eating, right? Yeah. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Think about it. You could have gone through it. I mean, it, it was a completely free choice. Mango. Fuck off! <laughs> Bracelet. What the Bracelet. fuck? Bracelet. Is that what you were thinking of? What the fuck? Okay. I don't get it. <laughs> we'll go. We'll go one step further. Let me just find mango on here. I've got it. Hang on. Just let me. Uh, I'm going to do something that if anybody's watching at home, you should never do this. What are you doing, Dick? I'm ripping. <laughs> let it not be said that I don't really, really, really take my my job seriously. Look. Do me a favour. We're going to go one step further. Can you... What was the matter? You okay? Th like... <laughs> Kids, don't tear up your dictionary. Look, do me a favour. It's can not you... that. It's not how the fuck did he get the word. Can you, can you tear down the middle for me, please? Tear nice, down. nice and neatly. Nice and neatly? Yeah, like I did. Yeah. Okay. Now, right hold the pieces like this, and you can either put the left-hand piece on the right-hand piece or vice versa. So they're stacked. There we go. And turn them 90 degrees. And turn them as down the middle, as close to the middle as possible. Aye. 
Can we just gloss it over the fact that he just gets two random words out of I'm a fucking dictionary? I'm not glossing over it. I'm still in awestruck. Now, uh, put the uh, pieces together. Yeah, that's it. Do you want to mix them up at that point? Just or shuffle them? Oh, you do. Okay. Um, cool. And put them together and try and get as close to the middle as possible and tear them down the middle again. Tear them again? Yeah. And, and put them there. Put them together. And put them here. So we've got a whole bunch of different, I mean, loads of different words on here, correct? Yeah. Lo loads, lo loads of different ones. Now, when you look at a dictionary, you can see that there's various different words that are bolded. And then, uh, which is kind of the word in question, and then underneath you have the description of what the word is, yeah? Yeah. What I want you to do in a second is you're going to uh, pick one of these pieces of paper up, but you're actually going to turn it over, and you're going to look at it by turning it over, because I've, I've seen some of the words on this side. So you're going to pick one of these pieces of paper up, and you're going to turn it over, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you're going to do is you're going to think of one of those bolded words, now, to make it interesting, if there's more than one bolded word, like here we've got manifesto and mannequin. Mm -hmm. If there's more than one bolded word, what I want you to do is pick the one that's got the most description under it. Because you might have ripped through, you, you, like, you, it, you, yeah, okay. you, you get the yeah. idea. And, and obviously, make sure you turn it over, because I have seen some of the words here, and I don't really think that I'm cheating. So, I'm going to um, spread them out like this. And what I want you to do, don't show the camera, just keep it to yourself. What I want you to do is pick one word, turn it over, and then tell me when you're looking at it. I want, I want you to tell everyone I am looking away. Is that right? Okay. Can you pick up, can you do one of those? Are you thinking of one of those words in bold? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Now, put it back there. And pick them all back up. And square them up. And put them in my hand. And I'm going to do this. Oh, I was putting them neat. <laughs> <laughs> the purpose for that is I can't see anything, right? Absolutely nothing. No. We picked a page. You picked a page. We ripped it out. Yeah. You tore it up. Yeah. You then mixed all the pieces, tore it up again, mixed all the pieces. Mm -hmm. and then I turned my back. You took one of those things, mm -hmm. one of those pieces of paper. You looked at a word. Yeah. No one could know that one. But you couldn't know the first two fucking words. <laughs> Look at me. Concentrate on the word. Imagine it's here. Think of the last letter. It's an N. Am I right? How? It's a big word. This is interesting. Did you read the description or did you just look at the word? Yeah, I read the description. This has got a couple of meanings, doesn't it? A couple of meanings. There's a couple of meanings to this word. A couple of meanings that you associate with it. Is this a place? Is this a place? Yes. It's a place you've been to. Yes. You've been to this place. Yeah. You want to go back. I'd love to. Think of a letter in the middle of the word. Interesting. You went back and forth, didn't you? <laughs> no, you looked up into the left, you went back and forth. Did you go back and forth between the H and an A? Was that right? Did you settle on the A or the H? It was the A, wasn't it? H. It was the H. First letter? M. Imagine what this place makes you feel. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Think of a colour that you associated with this place. Oh, you... Wow, it just went straight into it. Yellow, right? Is that because of the taxi cab? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. You're thinking of a place in New York, aren't you? Uh, Are you thinking of... Manhattan? What the fuck? Oh, my God. How, though? Like, how... <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> How? There you go. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. If you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'll be back again at six o'clock with another Magic Live. Mm -hmm.